Hey, idiots, it's time to play Hive. As always, the setup involves making a huge mess all over your floor. Then separate the pieces into groups of black and white. Wait. Choose a player to place the first piece. Then, the next player will build off of that piece with uh, one of their pieces. Then you can choose to either move one of your pieces, or place a new piece onto the hive. Remember, you're not allowed to attach one of your pieces of the hive to your opponents. Okay, at this point it seems intentional. Now I will tell you how the pieces of hive move. There are many pieces of the game hive, but in this video we'll just be focusing on the ones that come with the base game. First, there's the queen bee. If she is surrounded, she dies, and you lose the game. Wait, is that too soon? I apologize, arachnophobics, but next up is the spider. The spider can move exactly three spaces. If your opponent for some reason instead decides to move them four spaces, then you have the written right in the instructions to kick them in the private area. Now, the cricket. A cricket can move any amount of spaces over a straight line of hexagons. I'm not sure why he would do this, given the fact that he's a cricket of all insects, but whatever. Now, as for the ants, they can move anywhere they want to on the hive. That's a stupid place to put it. Now, as for my personal favorite, there are the beetles. Your beetle can move exactly one space. However, you're also entitled to being able to place the beetle on top of another piece to prevent that piece from moving. And before you ask, yes, your opponent can beetle your beetle. And then even after that, you can beetle that beetle. Before you know it, there's a whole beetle tower. Also remember that in no point of the game is either a player allowed to move one piece disconnecting the hive. The technical term for this is called divorcing the hive. But wait, you can't stop playing yet. There's more rules. If you'd like to view them, check the enclosed instruction booklet. Hive also comes with a number of expansion packs, such as Beetles, Back and Fatter Than Ever, Literally Malaria, and Ladyba. You know, as in the Pokemon. Yeah. So that's Hive, the game for definitely not arachnophobics.